Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we are looking at this foot. We've got a mark right here. It's gonna end up leading to a big area that we're gonna need to uh, clean out here with a lesion underneath. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. I had some questions on an earlier video. Why do you decide to take off some of that hoof with a knife and not use the grinder? And there is no real reason uh, you could take this off with a grinder. You can use a knife. Sometimes it's just kind of um, satisfying to remove some big chunks with the knife. And this stuff I can see is loose. So I just take that off with the knife. But I'm going to pick up the grinder to do most of the uh, shaping of this claw. Once again, with this video, I've got some audio that cuts in and cuts out, so I apologize for that. Try to ignore it if you can. Uh, with this foot, we're dealing with the left rear on this cow here, and this is a problem on the medial claw, and that's not a very common occurrence to see is uh, this type of lesion on a medial claw. Typically, it's going to be on the, that outside claw, that lateral claw, where the majority of the weight and trauma is uh, normally takes place on a foot, but this one is on that medial claw. A lot of times when we have white line issues on medial claws, they actually appear more like an ulcer, and that's what we have in this case. You can see that hole there right along the white line. Once I open this up, you'll see what I mean. It's, a, it's an area that looks much more like a typical sole ulcer site, um, lesion, except it's not in that area. And also when it happens on the medial claw, this is almost always where this particular uh, type of lesion will show up. Typically not high white line lesions. They're typically down toward um, about in the middle or a little bit um, below the middle section of this foot. And you'll see once I get this, um, once we get some of this area cleaned out, like I said, it looks much more like an ulcer than a typical white line lesion. I can tell that the separation near the top is gonna to lead down to that lesion site. So I'm gonna start up at the top and I'm gonna work this loose horn away. And it'll, as I work down, it will connect to that lesion site. I gotta work carefully here, trying to get all of this um, horn away from that lesion. I know exactly where that lesion is, but I gotta be able to get that, lift that hoof away from that to do some cutting because it's a little bit raised as you'll see. These types of lesions are hard. It's really hard to identify exactly what can cause them, especially when they're on the medial claw. The reason is, is because we see very few lesions on this claw to begin with, number one. Two, we are not able to um, be on the farms for extended periods of time to kind of get an idea of any possible way that this could happen, even if we did have lots of... Um, examples of this to see. So it's really hard to pinpoint. I can only speculate um, as to the cause of these, but a lot of times it's just what I would consider to be um, fluke injuries or rar uh, rarities because they, like I said, they, the, these lesions just don't show up very often at all on medial claws. A lot of times I think if in my own, if I had to guess myself, that these are going to be um, pressure um, type injuries from imbalances in the claws, more so than any type of trauma from slipping or anything like that. I think it has more to do with pedal bone issues actually acting much more like an ulcer than a white line, compromising that white line and creating these types of lesions. But like I said, we don't get enough experience or exposure to medial claw lesions like this to really be able to pinpoint their exact cause. So 
So if you know anything about hoof trimming or hoof trimming videos, you know that this is the time we're gonna put a block on. And if you're a hoof trimmer, you know that this is about the time when the cow decides to move and screw up your block placement. Yep, just like that. And if you're a YouTuber, you know that this is about the time that your power goes out. Yep, lights went out right about now, no worries. We got a different outlet and we're back in action. Now you can see that lesion. I've still got some more work to do here around that uh, white line area along that outside wall and that I need to clear away to fully expose that lesion. And then we're gonna get some salicylic acid on this. It's obviously got some dermatitis going on in there as well. We're gonna get that cleaned up and we'll get her back to the barn. Whenever I'm working, taking away these areas around that wall, I want to leave as much of that outside wall as I possibly can. The reason for that is, is because it's going to take a long time to heal that defect in that wall to get that wall back to full um, structural integrity to grow that back in, I should say. And I don't want to compromise that connection between that sole and that outside wall when I do that. So I wanna remove just enough so I can expose that lesion and I can get my treatment on there to get that lesion to heal. And I so I don't disturb ultimately the weight holding capacities of that outside wall. That wall is where the, the weight from that cow is transferred inside the foot to that wall and ultimately to the ground and to the sole. So if I take too much of that away, I'm compromising and I'm gonna be overloading the rest of that outside wall. So here I'm getting that foot wrapped up, getting some salicylic acid on that lesion to take care of any um, potential bacteria there and to give it some protection, some pain relief um, in these early days of, to get some good healing on that. We're going to uh, get this foot down and we'll see how she's walking. You'll notice at first, she's not too sure about it, but as she starts walking, she realizes that having that block on there, taking the weight off of that claw uh, is making her much more comfortable. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, you're fine. You're still talking. Uh, yeah. All better. <laughs>